Hello class, this video is going to go over manufacturing inventories and the flow of inventory through the manufacturing process from start to finish. There are three different types of inventory accounts used in manufacturing. The first one is called DMI, Direct Materials Inventory. Then we have Work and Process Inventory. And then finally we have Finished Goods Inventory. So to get the process started, um, we have a manufacturing facility that I drew up here. And there's three components. We have um, the delivery area where trucks come in and deliver our direct materials inventory that we're going to use. So direct materials inventory is the cost incurred to purchase and receive direct materials. So when we buy our direct materials that are going into the manufacturing process, in this case we're talking about widgets. So we use, uh, let's say, steel in our widgets. So the steel as we buy this raw materials, the steels that comes in the delivery bay, um, it directly goes into DMI. So the journal entry that we do in stage one is we debit DMI, and then there's our accounts payable. So now, whatever's sitting in the, in the delivery area in the storage facility before it gets into production is gonna be held in DMI. All right, so here's Sue, she's unloading the truck, she's putting it into the uh, facility, using our forklift, that's a forklift by the way, you really can't tell, but it's the best I could do. So the, the materials are in there, it's in DMI, okay? So now Bob, Bob is the supervisor on the factory floor and he picks up the phone and calls Sue and he's like, Sue, we need to issue $10,000 worth of DMI into production. So now we take the DMI and we put it into production. So remember, these are all inventory accounts. DMI is an inventory account, WIP is an inventory account, and finished goods is an inventory account. So what happens when we issue the DMI into production, it's gonna come out of DMI. So DMI gets credited, this inventory account goes down, and then we're gonna put it into WIP. So once it's on the factory floor and it's being produced, here's Lucy, Lucy's working the um, assembly line here, and um, as it is on this floor, it is gonna be held in WIP. So once it gets done and Lucy pulls them off the line, she calls Tom, she's like, Tom, we're, we're done. We've completed manufacturing our widgets. You need to come and put them in the finished goods warehouse. So Tom and his staff are gonna come in and they're gonna grab the widgets and they're gonna store them in the finished goods warehouse until they get sold. So at this point, it comes out of WIP. So you can see WIP gets credited, it gets lowered, and then it gets put into finished goods, finished goods inventory. So that holds the balance. So that is the flow of inventory through the manufacturing process. Just remember, there's, there's three points of inventory. It's either in DMI, it's in WIP, or it's in finished goods. So that's the direct materials. We'll, we'll talk about indirect in a later video. And we'll also talk about the direct and indirect labor also in a, lab, in a, in a later uh, video. So that's the process. There are the definitions. Here are the three different journal entries that shows DMI into WIP and then into finished goods. All right, there you have it on manufacturing inventories. We'll move on to the next lesson.